Hello and welcome. This is Scott at Mechsoft. In this video, we'll cover the basics for doing three axis drilling found in RhinoCam. This drilling demonstration part contains an array of holes of two different diameters, 6 mm and 12 mm, alternately distributed across the face of the part. I'll create operations to center drill and drill these holes. To get started, I'll go to the menu bar and select RhinoCam, then choose the machining operation browser, which comes up on the left of your screen. The first thing I'd like to do is establish a good programming environment by defining three key things, the stock, the program zero, and the tools that will be used in the operations. To define the stock, the system scans the part geometry and creates a minimum box. I will accept that. Next, I'll define the program zero or work zero by referencing the stock material that I just defined and set it at the highest point on the back left corner or northwest corner as you see on the screen and save that. And finally, I've defined three cutters to be used in the operations, a center drill and two regular drills. In each of these, I've defined the tool number, the tool length adjust register, the coolant, the tool material type and the feeds and speeds used with each tool. Now I'm ready to create the operations. I'll create the center drilling operation by making sure I'm on the program tab, selecting the holes pull down and select drill. In this particular part, the fastest way to select all the holes that will be center drilled is to use this second option, selecting all holes in a face or flat area. I will select the top face, the system will scan the face and collect all the circular edges since this is a solid part and make an entry in the feature selected list up on the left. For the tool I'll select the center drill, check the feeds and speeds and load those from the tool. Under the clearance plane, since there are no obstructions between the holes, I'm going to skim the part between holes at about 3 millimeters. Cut parameters. I want a full depth of 10 millimeters. Do not add the tool tip. And an approach distance of 3 millimeters and we will generate the path. For clarity, I will change the operation's name to center drill. Let's improve that path by checking with the sorting and here I'm going to set a directional sort to be zigzag and will generate the path a second time. Much better. To create the drilling operation for the 6 mm drill, I'm going to copy and paste the center drill operation. So I'll highlight it, do Control C for copy and then Control V for paste, and then I'm going to rename this new operation. Now I'll edit the parameters. With this copied operation, the selection of all the holes is retained. To get the 6 mm holes only, I'm going to impose a diameter filter of 6 millimeters max and min and you will see that only the 6 millimeter holes are retained. For the tool I will set this to the 6 millimeter drill. Feeds and speeds I will load them from the tool. Clearance plane should remain the same. Cut parameters I will set the depth to what is needed and for sorting I'll do the directional sort again being zigzag and generate the path. To create the 12 mm drilling operation, I'm going to again copy the center drilling operation, then drag that operation to the third position and rename it. Then edit the parameters as I did before. Here I'll set the maximum diameter to 12 and the minimum to 12 to retain only the 12 mm holes. For the tool, I'll select the 12 mm tool, check the feeds and speeds and load them from the tool. Clearance plane should remain the same. The cut parameters, I'd like the depth to be 22 millimeters with no added tool tip and the sorting, leave that at zigzag and generate the path. Now that the operations are complete, I'll simulate all of the tool paths. Notice that I can rotate the view during simulation. Now let's say that sometime later an engineering change comes through that dictates that the 6mm hole be deeper. 
You can expand that operation, go directly to the parameters, set that depth to what is required, and because of the ratio of the depth to the diameter of the tool, I'm going to change this to deep drilling or peck drilling and generate the path. Well, there you have the basics for creating three axis drilling operations. Finally, let's post process these operations for a Haas machine with metric output. I'll select the machining job at the top of the tree so that all the operations are post processed, select right mouse button, and then post all. This dialog allows me to verify or change the name then of the posted output file. I'll accept that and here's the listing of the post processed operations. There you have it. That concludes the demonstration on three axis drilling. Thank you.